this book is called How to Hide a Gray Tree Frog and Other Amphibians. And something special about this book is that it was a gift from my aunt a long time ago. And in it, you can see I wrote my name, H-A-L-E-Y, when I was like, I think just about your age. I was five years old because it was in May of 1990. So this is a very old book and I want to share it with you. How to hide a gray tree frog. If you take a careful look, you'll see how creatures in this book are camouflaged and out of view, although they're right in front of you. The gray tree frog is quite a clown. It leaps about and then settles down. With suction cups upon its toes, it clings to things and then off it goes. Depending on the temperature, the dampness, or the light. It's sometimes gray or green or brown and sometimes pearly white. Now who can find the frogs on this page? Did you find one on the tree trunk? And in the green leaves and on the white flower. And then there's one other one right over here, right? We got one, two, three. Oh, this one's hard. It's really blended in. Four. They're all camouflaged. They're blending in with its background. The meadow frog is. Well concealed, deep in this moist and grassy field. Can you find the meadow frog? If you said right here, you're correct. Upon this arm lily, will this arm frog all right? Let's see, a light, do you think? He changes color. Ooh. Where it will stay and nestle down and turn from brown to white. It did. It changed color so it could be camouflaged. So cool. It is quite beyond belief. The horn frog looks like a leaf. Isn't that awesome? Can you see the frog? He's right there. He is so well camouflaged. This is a cat-eyed tree frog from the jungles of Brazil. His legs are shaped to hide him when he is sitting still. Can you find him? Where's that frog? He's right here. <laughs> so good at camouflaging himself. All the splendor that's bestowed upon this well-designed green toad can alter altogether as You see it fade away to become a pasty gray. Now can you guys see the frog? He's just turned from that beautiful design to this gray, just like a stone. Looking like the lichen where it likes to live, this salamander can be sure that it is really quite obscure. Now that's a big word, obscure, isn't it? Can you find him? Right 
over here. It's so hard to see. And that is the end. I hope you enjoyed this book. It was fun to share it with you.